there's an estate sale not too, too far away that says they have vintage Christmas. They had to give me a trash bag just to get my stuff out of the store. Knocked me out of commission for like two days. And this is the most epic thing that I've ever found and ever purchased. This is kind of fun, but it's like super hot. I want to do our front entry really good. I thought it was so beautiful to put somewhere because it would be like a different shape. Cade, your mom has no chill. My brain doesn't have an in-between. First Christmas light of the season. Going on. You ready? Are you ready for it? Are yeah. you ready for this? Good morning, guys. How are ya? Look at my new curtains on those doors. I'm so happy with that DIY. It feels so more cozy, just like separated from the rest of the house. It's like what the bedroom needed, for sure. The last few days have been something. Romeo got food poisoning. Oh my God, I felt so bad. Oh, it was so bad. Um, he's feeling a lot better now. I'm back. He's back. It was, food poisoning feels like death i've had it a few like two three times maybe in my life yeah it's the worst yeah, yeah, yeah. i've never felt like that ever so he's back to almost 100 percent. he's kind of probably at like 75 percent really I can uh, walk now. yeah he can, he can walk um so there's an estate sale not too too far away that says they have vintage christmas oh, and we have to so we're up early. Photos were really bad, so I'm hoping that they don't pull a lot of people because you can't really see what the stuff is. There's a lot of stuff that isn't posted is what they said. A the lot stuff of stuff that isn't posted? Let's I like how see. that's the first thing I do. As soon as I can move my <laughs> fingers, I can <laughs> I look at the stuff. This is why we're meant to be Ugh. as one. We love all the same things. He literally, as soon as he can walk from being poisoned, he thinks laundry. about estate sales. He did, did laundry and... <laughs> And he thinks about estate sales. So let's go see what we can find. I need a few things, like really cool things for Christmas. Um, and I'm gonna keep decorating. You know that plan? I was like, I have my everyday planned, every, everything that I'm gonna do. And then he gets food poisoning. And I was like, oh, okay. But I left days in there to pivot. I left days in there to push. Um, and cause life happens sometimes. Let's go see what we can find. We're gonna get on track today. Thank you, we'll be right back. Thank No, they're like those little light-up things. They're pretty expensive, actually. It's not like lights, it's just like you light it from the inside, but it's missing the crystals. You guys, it has been days since I've picked up a camera. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that Romeo and I caught some kind of stomach bug. He got it first and we thought it was food poisoning because I didn't eat what he ate and that's what we thought it was. Two days later, I got it. I've had food poisoning before twice in my life 
that was not it. It wasn't quite as bad. If food poisoning was 100%, this was 75%. Still really bad. Knocked me out of commission for like two days. I was either in bed or on the couch or in the bathroom. And my body just totally rejected whatever I had in it. It was rough, weak, throwing up, like everything. It was horrible. You know, my productive week that I was gonna have, uh, didn't happen and you know life's been lifing lately and life happens and i can't you know i can't control everything and people get sick and i kept reminding myself of that but like oh my gosh my body got to a point in the first day that i was so restless and i got up the next day and took a shower and it wiped my energy it's like the only thing that i could do was shower the next day so this is day three i'd say i'm at like and I'm 80% back to myself. I feel a lot better. I sound a lot better. My mom was like, oh, McKenna. Luckily, we did have it at different times. But we obviously have the baby and we don't know what it was. So we didn't want to get the baby sick and he's fine. So I did my DIY project in the bedroom, Monday and Tuesday. And Tuesday night, Romeo got sick. So Wednesday and Thursday, he was down for the count. So I was really on baby duty. I was like, okay, I'll just pivot my plan. It's fine. He gets sick. I just wanted him to feel better. So I was taking care of him and the baby. He was feeling better Friday morning. We went to that estate sale. And Friday after we went to that estate sale, I got sick. So Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, I was done. I was absolutely done. So today's Monday. I don't have anything to show for my weekend other than resting my body and getting back on track. Um, but I'm definitely on the other side of it, which is really good. And I'm glad the baby's okay. So I'm getting ready for the day. We are going to not like overexert ourselves, but I've got to move my body. You guys, like I have bent up energy. My body is feeling like so restless that I, ha I have to do something. And today on my plan was to start putting up the... Christmas decorations outside. That's what we're gonna do. They're also like the power company is here like doing tree trimming. So that's a whole thing. They were doing tree trimming on Saturday. I had to listen to chainsaws all weekend. I'm like, ah. Uh. You guys, I have been mm. drinking so much Element since I've been sick. When you're sick, it's so important to put things back in your body that you're, <laughs> you're getting rid of. Electrolytes is one of them. My favorite is the citrus salt from Element and a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video because they just sent me their chocolate medley that's only available during the cold months because they're designed to be enjoyed like in your coffee as hot chocolate, which we're gonna make, we're gonna make hot chocolate. I have not tried it yet. I wanna try it with you guys and give you guys uh, my thoughts on it. I think I wanna try the chocolate chai. I haven't had a chai in a minute. Before I discovered Element, when I would think about electrolytes, I would resort to sports drinks and those have tons of sugar. I didn't even really realize it at the time. When I discovered Element, I loved that it had exactly what you needed and a perfect balance of ingredients that was actually science backed and didn't add in all of that extra stuff. There's no artificial ingredients, there's no coloring, uh, there's no gluten and there's no sugar. Especially if you're really active, electrolyte replenishment is so important because when you sweat, you lose a lot of sodium. Athletes lose something like seven grams of sodium per day. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. I smell the chai. Mmm. Ooh. It's not overly salty at all. I feel like all the flavors, like the chocolate, the chai, and the salt is very mild. You know, it's not like overpowering at all. It's it's nice to drink. It's just really hot. So right now, Element is offering a free sample pack with every order. So that's eight of these sample packs. This is a great way to try out new flavors too if you wanted to try them out. So to get yours, you can go to drinkelement.com slash exomechenna. And it's only active if you actually click the link. Um, so I'll leave it in the description box. And it's D-R-I-N-K lmnt.com slash exo mckenna so i'm gonna have romeo try this out because it's like it's pleasant the flavors are really like subtle you know okay kate has got his cozy clothes on so we can go i'll go outside and see what we're gonna do for christmas patio is still not done um and it's supposed to rain tomorrow but my mom's coming into town so i'm gonna prioritize the pat this you said tuesday it was gonna rain um, but my mom's coming this week, so we're gonna prioritize the patio while she's here. It's so close. We've done all the hard work. 
It's like life. I told him life has been lifing. So it may almost be December. <laughs> But things are still blooming here. You know, we still got <laughs> tons of roses. We still got all of our green is still like healthy. I need, actually need to trim my roses. It's been a minute. So I'll do that. And also we put these like, uh, what are they called? Net lights? Yeah. He's over there with Kate. He put his hat on him. <laughs> so cute. Uh, we put these like net lights on these um, bushes out here. But if you don't trim them straight, and they don't have a good spot like they're, they're like not not in good shape like all of these right here so i go through and we cut them on the top so that we can put the nets on top and we have one here and one over here too so that's a good first job for sure and to do that we have this thing oh yeah still... yeah you can like tilt this you need to tilt it maybe not well, you could just hold it like upright though and just like. Still like this. This thing's kind of fun, but it's like super like, top heavy. Let me change my shoes. Actually. It's like hard to, you know, like control it because it's so top heavy. to cut stuff because it might be a cord don't romeo cut the cord to our wi-fi i got excited with the new trimmer i didn't i didn't see the cord we had to have we had we didn't have wi-fi just for a day but still <laughs> to be honest i have a lot of gardening that i need to find find time to do out here um, just like perfecting the beds and stuff but that's gonna make the Christmas lights look so much better on the hedges and then if it's still good weather and stuff I can always come out here when I have time and do the beds and stuff but I don't know maybe you guys let me know maybe I should wait until spring I don't know it's just like they need attention Cade your mom has no chill she's sick two days and then she's out cutting limbs my brain doesn't have it in between. It's not like, oh, I'm a kid and take it easy. You don't need to do insane things. And then I just like pick up a power tool and I can't stop. Net lights. Yeah. First Christmas light of the season. Going up. You ready? Are you ready for it? Are yeah. you ready for this? Because I'm going to give you the plug because there's a super important one. I didn't cut that one. I hope not. Go. Well, I had it like half and half. So I'll hold it a little bit. Are you blowing bubbles at me? Rose garden this past year, I had some trouble with these on this side growing. And they all grew at different times. And it just looked a little like unkept. I also, obviously, 
just had a baby. So I didn't have a lot of time to come out here and like spend like I did the, the previous year. You know, now that we're getting the hang of things, I want to. And it just looks a little like unkept. When they're blooming and they're big, like they were that first year, it looks gorgeous. Like walking through here is like so pretty. I'm gonna ask a question, but I think the answer to my question is just like keeping up with it and pruning them and uh, making sure I, I see some spots on these leaves that I need to investigate and stuff. And I have that one tied back because it was growing into the patio and I needed to get it off the patio so I could paint it, but I, don't, I didn't want to cut the roses. I just, I wanted it you know like full like that because that one grows really well this one grows really well so the first one on the end does well the second one and the last one doesn't do so well they're still blooming right now um so i think mid-december i'm gonna cut them back they'll start to bloom earlier in the season that's what i did the first year and then i'll regularly prune them um and figure out what's what's the leaf issue kind of diagnose the issues okay so i'm thinking through my plans here we have christmas that i bought last year that i didn't have the energy to put out so being in my first trimester of pregnancy was not helping my energy level so we have deer and a sleigh that lights up that we didn't put out last year i only put one deer out but we have, i think we have three the net lights obviously that we did um, so we're going to see if we need any more for this side we also have icicles for the roof line. We have garland with lights, outdoor garland, to do the railings that I didn't do last year. I have lights for the trees that we did do. Romeo did that. He did the most. I think we did, I don't think we need to do quite as much or go as high as he did because I was really nervous with him on that tall ladder leaning against the tree. One night he stayed out here until like midnight. It was our first Christmas here with the family. So he was like, I wanted it to be perfect. So we stayed out here until like midnight, you know, like working on it. I want to do our front entry really good. Like I want to do more i have some things that obviously didn't use last year that i can use i have two trees that i think are going to look great in these pots that we got and i want to do this whole thing really good and all the railings and i have a wreath for the door obviously um so i want this to be like epic so i need to like prioritize some of my like outdoor garland for for this i've seen some people do like like chicken wire around the poles so that they can make them more full which I can do, which oh, I have to show you guys what I got. When we came back from the estate sale, we stopped by Joann's. They were having doorbuster deals. So first, this is what I got from the estate sale. This very cheap <laughs> garland. I needed it for something. I need it to cut up and use. Um, so this is going to be coming really handy. I also got this glass Santa and it's a candle holder. Candle holder, taper candles. I thought it was so beautiful to put somewhere because it would be like a different shape. You know, like I have brass candle holders. So they had two nutcrackers there, um, but I didn't like them as much. I, I don't know why. I was just like, oh, this was $5. This was a dollar. So that was my estate sale haul from that day. It's literally been in the car because I got sick that day. And then from Joann's, they are having their like doorbuster, Black Friday, something, something, something or other. It's buy one, get four free. So it's 75% off of everything. My whole trunk is full and I didn't spend near as much as I would spend on green, like greenery and like, they had to give me a trash bag just to get my stuff out of the store. Like I got some greens. Well, that's some really pretty like stems. Like how pretty for like a uh, mantle and stuff. So I'm still decorating inside and I'm gonna be finishing up all the decor tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited to do that. So if it's still happening, and you need greens, definitely check it out. I think there were other things besides just the greenery that were door busters. This like, so pretty. I was like, yes. We have more spots in the house that I'm decorating now that the kitchen's done. I relayed out the design of how, where the Christmas goes. Like I moved my desk, the tree and stuff. So it's gonna be different. So stay tuned. It's, <laughs> the video's almost done. Also, when we went to Costco that day, like last week, they have pre-made gingerbread houses. And I feel like I always force designing gingerbread houses on our family. I'm like, I just want everyone to want to do them like I do, and they just don't. The decorating part they will, but the whole building of the, the house, not so much it comes with like you know some decorating things and it's already pre-built so we're all starting at the same like starting point we're gonna have like teams so i got a few of these uh to do for for christmas eve that'll be fun and this is the most epic thing that i've ever found and ever purchased because it's for kinsley it is a dog advent calendar so starting on vlogmas we're gonna open 
one a day for Kinsley. I'm so excited. It has eight dog toys and 16 dog treats and a sweet digital sweet digital surprise I'm not excited about. But the other things, very much so. I'm sure that there have been advent calendars 1000% for dogs, but I have never gotten one and she has never done one. So this is gonna be very exciting for us. This needs to come inside right now. And I may not have had a lot of energy to put up Christmas last year, but I had a lot of energy to organize it. I even marked indoor lights. That's so helpful. <laughs> I don't know why I would have deemed these indoor, maybe because they weren't outside last year. Maybe I was like, okay, these will just keep going back inside. So thankful because now I don't even have to figure it out. It's already there. And I had all my ornaments organized. I was really thinking forward ahead to this year. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning after I wrapped up everything that I was doing outside. I was with the baby and I was getting him to settle and <sighs> I, I took him upstairs to um, the nursery and because I'm still, you know, kind of weak. So carrying him around and walking him around is, is takes a lot of a lot of energy. So I was hoping a change in scenery and laying down up there would would work. And I told him that we were going to go take a nap on the moon. So I had the moon on in his nursery and we were laying on the bed part, not his not his bed, but the actual guest bedroom bed. And the moon was on and I was like, this is so nice. I told him I was like, the moon is so quiet and calm and you feel light and like you're floating. I talked all about the moon. I've been having a baby. I have verbalized and described everything that I'm doing to him. Talking through so many things, things that we don't even think about anymore because we just know them. But to verbalize it out loud, I'm like, man, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn in the world. Like really basic things. Like I told him about astronauts and space and how you get there on a rocket and stars and meteorites and like all all the things and he settled really easily up there so it was just a change in scenery but we took a nap upstairs and then i was like oh my gosh it's late so i've been working at night i've been working on sketching my vlogmas intro because this will be the last vlog that you see before day one of vlogmas i will have decorating for christmas pending a, another virus that i catch which I don't plan on happening. I'm gonna be working on finishing up the decorating for Christmas video so you can see it on Sunday, which will be the first, December 1st. December 2nd is the first day of Vlogmas and we're doing 12 days of Vlogmas this year and then as many vlogs as I can before the holiday. Be like the 2nd through the 13th and then as many as I can leading up to the holiday. I'm really, really excited. I, I love doing Vlogmas. It's a big undertaking, which is why I'm essentially cutting it in half. Uh, so I'm doing 12 days instead of 24 days and I'm doing it here on the vlog channel. So I hope you guys are excited. We have tons of stuff that I've already planned for, for Christmas. Hopefully we're not gonna get sick again and nothing is going to derail our fun first Christmas with Cade. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ordered a bacon splatter thing because <laughs> Romeo is tired of getting bacon splattered at him. So I will see you guys Sunday and Monday and then every day after that for 12 days. Bye guys. The amount of yard work that people are doing today is unreal. Like Park Department of Power is out here doing the most. 